All right, guess what time it is today? It is Meatmas. So the Meatmas update just dropped, and we're in the Meatmas snow globe. So, uh, yeah, let's check out what we got underneath the tree. Oh, look at all these presents. Let me just uh, see what's over here. Just making sure that there's nothing hidden. Oh, look at these boxes. What do we got today? Let's check out what we got from our friendly developer, Anton. First box. <gasps> Ooh. This is the M60E4. I, I really like that we have a uh, little, like, name thing now we can... But yeah, so it's an uh, alternate version of the M60. Just look at this model. Look at that. With the rails and stuff. Oh, that is just so nice looking. Bipod, but yeah, we can attach some stuff. You know what? Before we get to doing things, let me just get some uh, attachments here. Do a suppressor. Where is the QC9? Always fun. Reflex sights. Let us spawn a little sight long. Whoops. And then a scope. Can we find a scope? Let's just get the... Uh, where is this? So many... Uh, options here. Look at the tactical. And then let's get ourselves a foregrip. Uh, 45. The Vector 45 foregrip is pretty nice. And then do we have an underbarrel? We'll just stick with the Picatinny. Because you never know when you might need it. Hmm. Okay. So, let me just check out this uh, new M60 that we got. Look at this baby. Grab the little box magazine here. Turn the safety off. Let's see if we can add a suppressor to the front. We can. No, oh, let me just make sure that that's on there. A little uh, red dot. Of course, this flip up sight is in the way. Let's uh, flip that down. Oh, nice. Sorry if I'm, uh, my hands are a little shaky because uh, this is all very exciting. And of course, we're going to put a grenade launcher on this thing. If we wanted to. Very nice. Boom. That is pretty cool. Move this grenade launcher. And uh, we can put all sorts of other attachments. So man, this is going to be uh, another one of those days probably where I'm going to have to make some uh, changes to my vault. My vault guns. All my uh, saved guns. Just look at this. All right. There are so many other boxes. Let me just remove some of these attachments. That I want to check out all the other stuff too. But let's do a little, uh, little Rambo. You know, hip fire this baby. Uh! <laughs> oh, that is cool. All right. So that's the M60 E4. Okay. Just flip this baby up again. Look at those internals. All right. That is the first box. Now let's check out box number two. Oh. This is the M60 E3. Wow. <laughs> okay. It's a different version of the M60. 
Your little bipod there. No rails this time. That's what the E4 is for. But I'm pretty sure it's the same operation as the other M60, as well as the one we already have. Let me uh, let me just go and spawn the original M60 that we had. Support machine gun. Uh, hopefully I don't. Oh, uh, wait a minute. There it is. Here's the original. Let's compare the three. Look at this. This is the classic chunky boy right here. The pig, as some people would uh, call it. Got that uh, flappy little, uh, whatchamacallit, carrying handle. But overall, a lot different. This one is a little uh, foregrip. It has the same, probably the same operation as the other M60s. But you know what? You can never resist loading up a box magazine full of rounds and just that is pretty cool so this is the e3 that in there and uh that let me just switch hands for a minute here all right box number three. Ooh. oh i mean i need to find the center of my play space hold on i got a little too excited oh sorry this is so cool i, I love i love it when uh there's new surprises you know <gasps> what's this oh this is a usas 12 oft requested automatic shotgun Okay, loaded. The uh, safety is off. Oh, so there's uh, three modes on the fire select here. Safe, semi, probably, semi-auto, and full auto. Let's, uh, oh, you know what? I should have spawn locked this, but that's okay. All right. Where's that shell? I just want to make sure I have full ammunition here. So this is on semi-auto right now. It'd be really cool if we could position this uh, charging handle on the other side for us lefties, left-handed players. It'd be nice if we could just take this and put this on there, but that's okay. Maybe, uh, you know, I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll ask Anton. Maybe that could be possible, but uh, you know what? He's already given us a lot and there's going to be a lot of uh, meet me surprise. So I don't, you know, that's that's okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Forgot. Full auto. Oh, so nice. Turns out, I think there is a way to release the uh, bolt using up on the touchpad. And let me try this large magazine here. Let's go back and spawn lock this. Oh, wow. At least the bolt. Recoil is very nice. If I'm going to shoot it one handed. A very, yeah, the, the recoil is really good. So it's just like the AA-12, but just a different type. Let's put a suppressor on there. And that'll work. Oh man, this is so cool. I'm <laughs> still excited. Uh, what else can I do? Can I put a thing on top here? No. Looks like um, maybe you could put a sight on this thing. I'm not too sure. I want to say you could put... And like, uh, let's see, hold on. Wait just a minute. Can I? No. No, that's all right. That's okay, though. That's okay. We don't really, you know. 
This is still pretty cool. Whoa, that was weird. I think that went even my controller there. <laughs> All right, so what else? Uh, can't put anything on the bottom. But again, completely fine. You know, uh, this weapon has been requested a lot. And I'm kind of glad Anton has put it in the game. Oh, that's not where I'm supposed to put it. All right, so that is the USAS-12. Okay, let's see what this present is right here. Moving on. Uh, okay. Oh, this is... Oh, this is the Scout. Okay. Yes, for all you Counter-Strike fans out there, you'll probably recognize this if you... you know, play that game. Of course, it's not uh, complete without a scope. It's the Steyr Scout. So now you uh, Counter-Strike fans have something just for you. Let me just see if I can... Where is the... Uh... Trying to see if I can get a snowflake. I had it in my sights. I don't know what happened there. Oh, there it is. Oh, my hands are so shaky. Something closer. Hold on. Also, maybe... No, not that close. Let's go... There we go. Ugh. Got the quick bolting, so you can... Uh... Oh, there we go. Ooh, this is hard. Not really a sniper, but I mean... Pretty easy weapon to use. Huh, am I missing it? I'm not seeing it. Oh, well, that's all right. So yeah, scout. Let's see what else we can do here. No, that's just a grip. Oh, wait a second. I don't know how that works, but I don't think that's anything. That's just me being stupid. Don't <laughs> I don't know. Uh, again, like I said, I'm not really into sniper rifles. So, oh, got it. Oh, man, this is tough. Really, it's really hard without a. Uh... Uh. Stock. There we go. Uh, I really need to buy a uh, a stock so that I can use uh, long guns like these without shaking everywhere. Whoa, whoops. Oh, something's wrong with my tracking there. That's weird. I might need to... There we go. There we go. Still, that's kind of weird there. There's a little hole there. But, uh, yeah. I don't play Counter-Strike that much. I'm sorry to say. But, uh, yeah. Like like I said, this is most famously known as uh, something from Counter-Strike. Ooh. Except suppressors. Obviously, it's got rail on the top there. Nothing on the bottom, which is fine. But that's pretty cool, you know? Alright, let's just uh, keep moving on because I don't want to make this video a little too long. Ugh. Oh, you know what? I'm going to take this scope as well. Stick that there. We got so many other boxes here. We got at least three more, four? Alright, sorry, four more boxes. These two suspicious, uh, suspiciously next to each other, they might be the same. Uh, kind of like category of stuff here. Let me just check. <gasps> Ooh, 
Is this a uh, China Lake? Yeah, this is a China Lake. Okay. Well, we've already got grenades, but let's just... Uh, pump action grenade launcher. Oh, yeah. So people were requesting this one as well. A lot of people want the China Lake. And Anton has given it to us. There we go. Let's flip up that site. Put the safety off. Alright, so that was what? Four? One, two, three, four. Yep, yeah, four. Really nice. We can put a suppressor on it too. So that is pretty cool. Let's do four more rounds here. One, two, three, four. Oh, wow, that is so cool. All right. There's your China Lake. Let's see what this one is. Oh, hey. This is, huh, Meat Fortress? It says MF All-Rounder. Huh. I don't play uh, Team Fortress that much, so I don't know any of the custom stuff. But, this looks pretty custom. All right. Oh, there's also a stripper clip here. Let me just put that there. Safety off. All right, let's try the stripper clip. Oh, there we go. Oh, that is a really inventive safety. Very nice chunky gun for you guys out there. That is pretty cool. I'm going to have to play around with that. Oh, does it accept suppressors? Yes, it does. Completely forgot. Let me just... Uh, See what it sounds like with a suppressor. Oh, that is pretty cool. Okay. Got two more boxes left. Let's go with the small one first before we open the big one, because that's probably something. Oh, well, obviously it's pretty big. So let's see what's in the small one. Ooh. It's a tiny uh, grease gun. This is. A little greasy. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Let's open that up. Oh, yeah. It's so small that uh, controllers hit together. Okay. A little greasy. Is there a grab point there in the front? Yes, there is. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a cut down grease gun. Let's add a suppressor. Yep. Open up that flap. <laughs> that is really, really cool. Let's take out that suppressor. Little greasy. Nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you, Anton. And let's check out the final Meet Miss Gift. Whew. Okay, what is this, baby? Ah! This is a Martini Henry. Another off-requested uh, weapon. 
Oh, let me just grab these rounds here. Come on, get in the hand. There we go. Oh, this one, uh, this one will take some, uh, oh man, okay. Okay, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure this out. Hold on just a second. I don't know much uh, about the Martini Henrys. But the people that requested it are probably going to be very happy. Maybe, uh... Oh man, I am failing so bad today. Hold on, just a second. Yeah, this one's going to have to take some explanation for, for me because... Again, I'm not too familiar with the uh, Martini Henry's... No. Oh, wow. Okay, this is just going to be... This is going to bug me the whole day. I'm going to have to figure out how to fire this thing. Oh, it's a lever action. Oh, completely. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. Wait, hold on. Okay, no. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to be so wrong about this, but I think this is a... This is a single action, right? Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, again, off-requested, the people that, you know, wanted a Martini Henry in the, uh, in the message boards will probably like the day. All right. Don't have much to say about this one. That's pretty cool, though. I mean, you know. I'm going to have to do a lot of research on this. Probably watch some uh, Forgotten Weapons videos. There's a whole bunch of them, so uh, I'm going to have to search. suppressors on there all right wow okay this is a little complicated <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna have to uh, take a look at this outside of HDVR but it is pretty nice so you know for all, again a lot of people have been requesting this one so yeah they got they finally got something all right so that should be all the presents under the meat, the meatmus tree. And uh, what can I say? I really like the selection. It's great. Look at all these new toys you get to play with. Especially like the uh, M60E4. With all these attachable like rails and stuff. Or uh, these uh, rails for attachment points. Oh yeah, this is really nice. I'm going to have to do a little bit of work on my vault. Well, let's put a grenade launcher at the bottom here. Oh, 
Oops. Can't use a grenade launcher while it's uh, a little bipod. Nope. That's all right. I was <laughs> I was trying to do a little like uh, artillery kind of mortar situation, but turns out you can't use the grenade launcher and the bipod at the same time. So that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. It's been a while since I've used the uh, pepperonis. I'm so used to the uh, sausages that uh, I kind of wish that, you know, Anton would have added the sausages into the scene, but that's okay. You know, th that takes a lot of work. That's fine. We already got some good stuff here, so. Oh, did I not spawn a... Oh, look at all these M60s. That's very, very nice. Oops. Of these for right now. Oh, forgot. Oh, well, no. Nope. That's okay. We've got a grenade launcher there. <laughs> Did I spawn a box? Give me a box. There we go. Let's actually move this here. Oh, nope, nope, I can't put that there. Oh. Kind of weird, but. Okay. No, I want it over here. <laughs> All right, so let's spawn some uh, Ronnies here. Human, random, three, no. Auto spawning, slow, turn on auto spawn. Oh, we got some Ronnies over there. Oh, I should have taken the China Lake, but I've already got a grenade launcher, so that's okay. Where are... Oh, there you are. Maybe I should do a little faster. Uh, 30. Fast. Three bots. Where are the bots at? There you are. Ooh, almost got gotcha. you. Oh no, I'm out. Backup weapon.
Uh, I need something. Give me something. Oh, the A12. Where are you? Not A12, sorry. The USAS 12. A12. Oh, snap! Oh no, I am surrounded. I forgot how relentless these guys are. No, no, no. <laughs> Oops. Oh no, I'm getting shot. Come on. Oh, I got hit. <laughs> I saw that flash. Oh, no. Where did you come from? that health oh no oh no stop no turn it off boop, boop. there we go <laughs> oh wow 
I forgot how relentless those guys are. All right. Oh, that's exhausting. But uh, there we go. That's meat miss for you. Whole bunch of cool stuff. <laughs> the old M60. Really nice. I really like the look of the E3, though. It's like that little foregrip they have. It's too bad you can't attach like stuff to it. Maybe like a suppressor, but that's about it. But, uh, yeah. You can probably uh, do the same thing with this M60. Just stick a grip on there. Oh, actually. Foregrip. Let's see. The Thompson foregrip might look uh, good on this. That is pretty cool looking. At least I think so. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Oh, man. That whole session right there with the, uh, the, uh, old wiener bots got me, uh, a little tired. I really, I mean, I really like the China Lake. Because, again, this has been oft-requested. A lot of people want this one. It's basically a pump-action grenade launcher. Although, uh, I have one little, uh, thing, uh, the, the, whatchamacallit, the grip point is really far. From where the hand is so you have to stretch your arm out it's a really big beefy thing so i guess maybe that's kind of like in real life it's really uncomfortable but uh yeah this is a nice beefy beefy pump action grenade launcher i wonder if it's a uh, slam fire hold on just a second it's two three four so I'm holding the trigger down. Oops. And then I'm just gonna... No. It's not slam fire. Which is, uh... Too bad. But that's, that's okay, you know? But yeah, I like this thing. It's it's like, you know, it's a step above the M... The M72? I might have gotten that wrong. Oh, it's been a long time since I've used it. The brake action. Let me just check over here. Ordinance. M79, sorry. The thumper. <laughs> so, you know, instead of doing that, you just, you know, put four rounds in there and I should have used this a while ago. I don't, I don't know why I didn't use it. One, two, three, four. Like, it's like, it's between the M79 and the, uh, MGL. So that's pretty cool, you know? Because you got, like, one there, and then for the MGL, you've got, like, six. Right? But yeah, this is pretty cool. Just like how beefy it is. Look at that. It's a thick, thick grenade launcher. Not recommend to do this in real life, but... Looking down the barrel of a grenade launcher. Look at this. This looks like a Team Fortress 2 weapon. <laughs> uh, speaking of, let me just check out that uh, Meat Fortress weapon. Hold on just a second. I'm trying to find it. That's weird. Is that a meat, uh, meat fortress weapon? I'll look for it here. Hold on. Just a second. Let's see it here. Need to find out what that was, because this is... This is chunky right here. This is a chunky boy. A strip eclipse. Again, this is the all-rounder. I have no idea what what this is. 
I can't wait till Anton gives us like an explanation of <laughs> what this is, what what exactly this is. Battle rifle? Anti-material, nope. Bolt action, nope. Carbine? Yeah, that's weird. It doesn't show up in the Meat Fortress. Oh, no, there it is. The All-Rounder. Okay, it is a Meat Fortress weapon. It's got the photo of a pistol on there, but... Yeah, look at this. This is a strange, unique little... Uh... Not little. It's pretty big. 10.5 by 35 millimeter Dutch. Look at this, it's very chunky. It's about the same thickness as the uh, China Lake. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I keep forgetting we have stripper clips. Let's use some stripper clips here. I think it takes two. One. Two. Let me just do three. I don't think it takes three, but yep, only two. <laughs> Triple clips. No, you need the magazine. Give me that empty, ma empty magazine. But yeah, this is pretty uh, unique those <laughs> all right so yeah this is pretty uh, this has been a pretty good meat miss I got a lot of good toys out there you see hold on just a second at the uh, scout all you counter-strike fans out there It would be really nice if this was a feature right here. I think you could do it. But I'm not so sure. I don't think that uh, feature is implemented. It looks like a space for a magazine. That looks nice. Look at that. <laughs> All you people asking for the scout. Now you can use it. And also, yeah, this this gun was in here in the game before as the Sausage Sausage gun. Uh, they have the uh, little sausageized versions of the scout. But now you have an actual scout, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right. How long is this video? How long have I been have I been playing? It feels like an like hour or something. But uh, let's see. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, the uh, what should we call it? Little greasy, <laughs> little greasy. All right. Submachine gun. Where is the little greasy? Where are you, little greasy? Where'd you go? Oh, no, no. Machine pistol. It's probably a machine pistol. Little greasy. There you go. Let me just, uh... It's gonna be really tough reloading these. Oh, I didn't, uh... In the chamber there. Oh yeah, it's gonna be tough reloading these, but that's pretty cool right there. A little greasy. And then the um, let's see, SMG. 
Nope. Lever action. The Martini Henry, which is still using the uh, Rio Big Boar image. Again, I don't know much about this one. Other than the fact a lot of people want it, so... Oh. I'm going to have to do a lot of research when I get out of this uh, VR about the uh, Martini Henry. I didn't think Anton was going to put it in so soon, so... Therefore, I don't know much about it. <laughs> Even though people were kept asking him about it. But it's pretty cool. Yeah, you can't flip cock it. That's the thing. <laughs> I was just thinking about that when I was when I first picked it up. I was like, is this a lever action? I can't really, you know, I can't really open it like a standard level uh, lever action. Like, for example, if you grab one, you can do that, right? So you can flip cock it. But you can't with a Martini Henry. Which makes a lot more sense when you look at it. I mean, not really much you can do with that. That kind of stuff. You can close it, though, if you if you click the uh, touchpad left. Say you can close it if you click touchpad left. But yeah, you know. Oh man, all this stuff. Let me just clean you know, all these guns. Oh wow, now I'm tired. And it's really late. It's like Well, he released at midnight, so you know. Uh yeah. <laughs> Time to get some shut eye after this. But uh I mean that's why I was a little shaky. Like, uh, when I first started recording, because it's like... <laughs> eh. But, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, that should be about it for today. That's Meat Miss for you. And, uh, hopefully you guys can play with the toys yourselves. If you can't, then, you know, that's okay. Maybe, maybe one day. But, uh, yeah, that's Meat Miss 2019 for you. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time for whatever happens in 2020. <laughs> Later.